The Soul Foundation is an institute of research that funds and guides um, uh, research in sciences, the social sciences, the humanities, and that also produces uh, policy and advisory research that is aimed to illumine and help us clear up what's going on with the UAP issue and also prepare us to deal with the social implications of it. I come from a tradition in science of taking from multiple different fields of science and thought simultaneously and synthesizing them into something new. You create and you invent. I'm a tinkerer by nature, and so here we are tinkering with uh, the reality of what this might actually mean. We also are putting together what we call a whole of society approach that engages all institutions and kinds of people so that we can deal with what may promise to be a very world-changing issue uh, in a way that involves everyone. Here you now have so, uh, everybody realizing that it's possible to talk about this uh, and that they're not going to be booed out of the room. Uh, welcome to California. Welcome to Stanford. The objective here is to legitimize and professionalize and then to seek from you uh, your ideas. We know from our private life that finding a partner provides a meaning to our existence. The same holds for finding a partner in outer space. Suddenly, the universe will not appear to be lonely. A lot of individuals who previously thought that they were alone in their thought or their belief system suddenly finding that they had many other individuals with whom they could speak. And so now the networks are forming and we hope that this will catalyze an opportunity for others to basically step forward instead of us or along with us. Not sure I'm aware of any sort of think tank organizations in recent years at the level of Seoul. I mean, in terms of the people that they have attracted to the organization, not just the founders, but people associated with it, the people here at this conference. I've been going to conferences for 22 years and I've never been to one at the level of this one. So I think it's really unique. Everyone here in the audience has uh, kind of praised it as the best event they've seen on this. And they've told us that everyone who needs to be here is here speaking uh, and that the audience is composed of just as many important people. This is why we have the Soul Foundation. Uh, we need to basically create a parallel track of uh, research and you know independent discoveries that aren't necessarily dependent on the U.S. government to provide us all the answers. Before the, the space program, people felt that we couldn't even go into space, you know, that human beings were tied to the Earth. Yeah. Now we have over 500 people have actually flown in orbit, okay? Uh, and so it's not... Uh, something that's unthinkable anymore, it's something people do. Okay. So uh, the, the stigma has been removed. Imagine if you could actually use some kind of technique to search for unidentified objects that are non-human. A goal is to search for a specific identifiable signature from an ET probe or non-human object. It's, it's an absolute perfect moment for Seoul to get involved because we need policymakers to be advised on this, right? I mean, they want to do the right thing. There are many of many members of Congress who want more transparency, but the more information they can get from the brilliant people associated with Seoul, the better it is. So I think the moment is perfect. The fact that they're acknowledging it, whereas before, you know, there's been rumors that NASA didn't want to do anything and other people didn't. But I think there's kind of like a crescendo or something's coming where now we can all get behind it and I think if we can get this into more mainstream academia, I think it will help with a lot. The more academics in, uh, that are writing papers, uh, the broader the base of interest is going to become, and I think that's another really important aspect of what Seoul is doing. What one learns when one gets in this field is that you end up with more collaborators, more supporters, and uh, more offers of help than you would get if you were working on something conventional. What they're really just trying to do is foster a coalition of the willing to, uh, to properly identify what's going on. I think there's been other groups that have done this, but not at, not at the scale of which Saul is trying to do this. The Saul Foundation is something that we've all been dreaming for a long time, and I, I think it's a 
the appropriate way to to call attention to the problem and to, 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 to gather the energy that we're going to need to go forward. Anybody who will bring something forward in a manner that is logical and non-hyperbolic, uh, we want to hear from them. The influence that Seoul can have in terms of bringing in the academic community and, and drawing these people in and creating papers that academics can read, it's going to expand the base of people that become aware of this situation of the UAP issue, and it might draw in other intelligent people that haven't been exposed to it so far. When this conversation develops, and when the issue develops, we're always there to uh, 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 provide answers because we were asking the questions that people are today, five, ten years before. We're on the precipice of feeling that we are both smaller and larger than what we thought we were before smaller in that there's a greater uh, sense of intelligences that might be out there, and so therefore we're one of many. But, uh, so that can make you feel small, but then bigger by knowing that you're as part of a community.